Fine afternoon everybody, welcome to the latest edition of the Antipost Show. Only 8 days to go to the big race. Are we all excited? Well of course we are. Now, I'm not going to hang about here. I'm going straight into the latest video which has been sent by Snoopy Riley who has clearly become the archivist for this particular race of 2010. There's no doubt about it, his work is almost, I'm sure, is going to put him in contention for an Oscar for documentary filmmaking. We're going to run the video. Looks absolutely confusing to me, a baseball cap. What were you chasing out there? You're supposed to be chasing the candidate. But anyway, I'll leave it to you, Snoop, to tell the tale of this. And uh, we're going to run it now. Okay, baseball cap. Moving forward. Bright brown beastie. Yeah, that's right. He's got a baseball cap on. He's moving. I don't know what's going on. Well, actually, I do know what's going on. What's happening is the big brown fella's taking it to the kids. But as you can see, it's kind of like falling a bit flat in his face. Yeah. He's got a bit of a tangle in the hat and he's thought, oh, I better get rid of that. There's a bit of hilarity in the cafe as he gets to his big, big famous hoofs. Uh, he tries to calm the kids down saying, okay, okay, that was a joke. That was just to make you all laugh. But listen up, can I take your vote for granted? Your first time vote next Thursday? There's a little bit of a dismay really here on the brown fella's face because there's nothing but silence. This little one here turns around and says, by the way, that baseball cap, it's just so passy in this kind of cafe, big brown fella. So, you know, really, that, you're not going to win us over with that kind of cheap trick. You're not one of us. And she goes back to her coffee and her posse. And then a big brown fella pulls out one which he thinks, you know, he's going to win them over. He says, you know, I know you all love CDs, kids. I know you love them. Well, if it wasn't for me driving down prices lower than mice's, well, you know something? There'd be a lot more money. What do you say about that? Oh, there goes a mouse, by the way. Well, this fella here, he's straight to the point. He walks up. He walks up to him and he says, Listen, big brown beastie, CDs are so passe. We don't buy CDs. We get everything free. Do you get it? But a big brown fella's lost. He's not sure what's going on. And he, he gives up and he moves on past the mouse there, which was used for that driving down prices, lower than mice's gag. And he meets this fella, now this fella here. He's a strange one. Can I count on you for my vote, says he. Well, this fella here, he just looks a little bit, bit spaced out, one might say. And he says, listen up here, big brown beastie fella. I'm not into politics one bit, but I'll tell you what I am into. See this here? And he rolls this towards him. This here egg. It'd give me great pleasure to give you it. And give you it right in your big brown face if you don't get on my face. Beat it, fella. You're not wanted round here. Ah, brown fella's in a bit of a bad way there, you know, because he's just apathy everywhere. He comes across, though, this fella here, and this guy here actually turns round and says, Yes, you know, can I, what can I do for you? And the brown beasties thinks, Well, thanks very much for your time. I'm looking for your vote. What would you, you know, can I guarantee that would be the case? But what he notices here, and we just get a bit of a film there. This fella's called Rover. This excites the brown beastie. Now, I notice you're a rover. Now, where I come from, a rover tends to be a floating voter. You know, roving between one party and the next. Now, can I tell you why you should vote for me? At this, well, the young pup, he's, he's not happy. And he starts pushing, pushing the brown fella. And he says, he says to him, you know, listen up. My parents called me rover. And I hate it. I really hate it. And now you call me Rover? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. And the young pup, well, he's gone back onto his Facebook, whatever it is the young people do. Well, Brown Beastie, he's pretty despondent. And as he's leaving the, the cafe, has a little survey around it. He thinks, no, I'm just not going to reach the kids. But uh, what we get here, what we get is on a magazine rack in the trendy cafe, is this. Uh, magazine and uh, you know there's a few few punters there not sure what the big brown fella thinks but he sees this guy and he thinks I don't know what he's got to be so happy about or proud about there it ends the video once again thanks Snoop it's an extraordinary bit of filming has it helped you make your mind up well I don't know and maybe you don't know speak to you all again next time people take care now